everybody, this is Steve from SNI Arsenal, Blue Collar Gun Reviews, and uh, we're going to do an extractor spring upgrade kit because if you guys remember my first video on that, I was shooting brown bear steel cased ammo from Russia and it was lacquered. And after shooting four or five hundred rounds of that through the chamber of this weapon got clogged up and I actually had a failure to uh, eject. This is the this is the shell that didn't eject out of it. Had to beat it up through here, through the through the bore of the rifle. So we uh, went ahead and talked to some people. We pulled the gun apart, took lacquer thinner, cleaned up the chamber, but have decided to go ahead and upgrade our extractor spring. So I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. Okay, there's nothing in the chamber. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dry fire this weapon. And uh, so now we're going to go ahead and break this receiver apart and uh, go ahead and pull that bolt carrier group. So here we go. Here's the pin, bolt carrier group, charging handle. Come out together. Here's the char the carrier group. Okay, we're going to go ahead and set the weapon off to the side. And there's a pin right here. As you see, this pin right here in this bolt carrier group which will help allow us to pull the pin here and we'll pull the bolt out. So let me see if I can get that out of here. Okay, there's the pin that holds the bolt and firing pin in. Let's see if we can get that out. Okay, here's our firing pin. There's the firing pin. Okay, now we're gonna turn this See if we can get that out of here. There we go. The bolt keeper. Here comes the bolt. Okay, right here is where your bolt extractor spring is. This is the extractor right here. So, pretty messy. I'm going to go ahead and wipe all this down. And then we'll pull that pin out of there, which will uh, allow us to uh, get the extractor spring out. Okay, so and now right here, this is the pin that will allow us to uh, pull that extractor spring out. Okay, see how I pushed it through with that punch? There it is. So now we're going to pull this extractor spring off, or the whole extractor. Okay, and here's the extractor spring. This is what we will be replacing today. So we're going to go ahead and wipe all that out, wipe off the bolt, set it aside. Now, we went ahead and ordered an extractor spring upgrade kit. We're going to open it up, see what we got here. It should, it should contain a spring, it should also uh, it should also include a plunger and an O-ring. Okay, spring, plunger, and O-ring. Gonna go ahead and get that out of here. Again, this kit is from Tactical Supply. This is the stock spring here. And it's much thinner. This is a much beefier spring right here, which is what we'll be putting in here. So you have two ends, you have a narrower end and a larger end. The plunger will go in the, the larger end like so. Okay, now we'll take that and put it back in right here into the spring into the cradle right here, this hole. Okay. Okay, I've heard both ways on this O-ring that we have here. Some people have said that it strengthens it too much. Some says that it doesn't and that they've had problems with this O-ring. I am gonna go ahead and attempt to put this O-ring on here and put it back in the bolt. And we're gonna see how this thing ejects with this. In fact, we will be going out Saturday to redo our Bear Creek Arsenal. Okay, so there we got the O-ring on it. 
go ahead and get that down in there. Okay, our extractor spring is back in the extractor. Okay, so now we're going to press back again, pressing down to get this pin back in here. And there it is, pins back in, extractor is back in. So now what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and get our firing pin and everything else back in here and put this thing back together. We've got the extractor back in, got the pin back in that holds the extractor in place. Going to go ahead and wipe it down a little bit more again. Everything's in place. Go ahead and put our firing pin in. Get our bolt to slide in. Okay, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is got the firing pin and the bolt carrier back in. We're going to put the firing pin keeper back in, like so. That's there. Firing pin stays in now. Okay, so now we have to put this slide here in. Get her lined up here with the hole. Should do it right there. And just to let you guys know, this will only go in one way. So, okay, firing pin into the bolt. There we go. Pins there. We take our keeper pin for our firing pin, replace it. The bolt carrier group is back together. Okay, so the ejector's there. We're going to go ahead and put this back in the weapon. So we're hoping this does it and takes care of this problem that we had with this steel cased ammo. We will not be shooting any more lacquered out of our, our AR. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and put that back in and give it a try on Saturday morning. Thanks for joining us. I hope this helps some of you guys that aren't too familiar with the AR format. and. We'll let you know how it does. Thanks. Hey everybody, this is Steve from SNI Arsenal Blue Collar Gun Reviews. And today, as you saw earlier in our video, we uh, we did an extractor spring rebuilt with a heavy duty. And uh, we've been hitting around for weeks and months that we were going to do another Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15 review and video. But we had some trouble, so we did that extractor spring rebuild. That didn't even take care of it. So what we did is the the weapon was under warranty so we sent the upper back to Bear Creek Arsenal and we right now we want to give Brandy and the guys over there at BCA or Bear Creek Arsenal a shout out because they were great with us uh, took care of everything here is the upper and what they told me on the phone is that uh, it was an extractor spring a 99 cent piece but we had talked to them about making a deal on getting one of their stainless steel fluted barrels and so we're hoping that it's included in this so we're going to find out we're going to unbox this thing and then because of that since we have this all back we're going to get everything back together and soon there's going to be another bear creek arsenal ar-15 review after the gun sighted in a little bit better and if anybody wants to know you can buy those bear creek arsenals ar-15s at classicfirearms.com well let's get started and let's unbox this upper Here's the packing with us. Okay, Bear Creek Arsenal guys. Cool. And they were great. They worked on this thing and got it done the very first day, the day they received it. They worked on it, sent it back to me the very same day, and they paid shipping both ways. That's an awesome company. And like I said, there is no charge on this because it says under warranty. So this packing slip, I haven't paid a dime to have this taken care of by Bear Creek. So Let's see what we got here. Figure out where the box is. Okay, there's that. Let's go ahead and turn this box around a little bit. There we go. Okay. And like I said, we did try to make a deal, but we haven't heard anything if they were gonna make a deal for that uh, fluted barrel for us. We just wanted to kind of tactical our, our weapon out a little bit. Okay, here it comes. 
I'm going to put this down here like this. And looks like it's packed really well. Like I said, I want to give those guys at Bear Creek Arsenal a shout out again because they were great with us. They uh, got back with us and like I said, they sent me a call tag and went ahead and gave it to us for free shipping both ways. They paid for shipping. They haven't charged me anything, so we're going to see what happened because we were still having that extractor problem, like I said, and they told me over the phone that they had uh, replaced the extractor pen. It's about what? From Palmetto State Armory and some other place, about 99 cents. So we didn't know that, but like since it was under warranty and our, our fix didn't work, we went ahead and decided to uh, send it in and have the warranty work done. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Cool guys, look at that. They went ahead and installed the straight fluted barrel. And uh, that is awesome. Looks pretty sharp on there guys. What do you think about that? Still 223 wild, so it'll still shoot the 556. So uh, that's a great deal. And we want to shout out again to those guys because we have looked at these online and a couple of places online. They retail for about $160. So we want to thank Bear Creek Arsenal again for sending us, and this is an awesome deal, and uh, I think that's pretty cool of them to do. Okay, everyone, uh, let's go ahead and continue. we got our lower receiver here, so we're going to go ahead and put this thing together, and then we'll be seeing you guys pretty soon, and uh, we'll do that BCA or Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15 number two, just like we did. So uh, let's go ahead and put this back together. Okay, she's back together, and so we'll be shooting that Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15 number two pretty soon. So you guys keep coming back. We appreciate you guys watching. <laughs>